Okay, welcome to our first project. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some angle iron in the garage there and I'm gonna build um, a platform for this to sit on. Once I get the platform done and some cross braces that we're gonna bolt this thing down to, a, then I'll get the height based off of my tanks up here. And then I'll build some cross braces for my tanks and then tie that up to the platform for this. So that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna build this platform and uh, the platform for the tanks. So in here I've got my, look at, just as a side note, check out that snow on that table. Hey, eh? that's lots of snow. So in here I've got my angle iron, my angle iron there that I'm gonna build, uh, we'll weld it up. So let's get started. Okay, there we go. So we got a frame built here around our box and now we're going to make some cross sections to bolt it down to and then we'll start on the propane tank uh, frame. So not pretty at all, any professional welders out of there don't judge me too bad, but uh, I got my little cross braces there that's going to fit right over where you can bolt through this uh, hard case and then I've got one crossbar across the bottom there. So I think that will work great. Let's take it out, we're going to test fit it on the front and then I'm going to see if I'm going to make the exact same size for the propane tanks or if I'll make it a little bit further in because of uh, the V nose, but I'll take a look. Let's go out and see. There we go. So that's roughly the spot I'm gonna put it. I wanted to put it far enough forward that my uh, diesel tank from my diesel heater can kind of bolt to the back of that container. So I could have it mounted out here. So now I'm gonna weld up the bottom bracket to support this one. So we've got the legs. I'm going to use these uh, angle iron here up front. I just notched it out to go around the frame of the trailer. So that'll be the supports for the front and then I've got these uh, two by twos for the back. It matches the width of the frame and I'm just going to put them on the corners. So let's get that mounted on there. Okay, we got it all uh, mounted up in the right spot here, marked the where the legs are going to go. I'm going to clean it up with a flapper disc and then we're going to weld it in. Okay, here's the setup. So it's all done. I just uh, uh, undercoated it just to protect it so it doesn't rust until I can get around to doing it properly but it's got a decent amount of room under there for both tanks and then I've got my little cargo box up here I don't know what I'm gonna do yet with this diesel for my diesel heater diesel tank I don't know if I'm gonna mount it to the side or I might just get a jerry can and stick it inside I think that's probably the easiest but we'll see. So I needed to get that done so I can start running the wires now 
and insulating the inside. That's the next project. So if you're interested in building an off-road cargo trailer conversion, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we're going to get this thing done. You can follow along, see if you like it. Uh, I appreciate any input you got too, so let me know what you think. Maybe I should do something a little different uh, before I get it done. Okay, thanks for watching.